other nations cup was that the first ever edition had only three nations yes the first ever edition had only three nations participated in that particular africa cup of nations and uh, that was uh, egypt as well as Sudan and Ethiopia in 1957. That was uh, the first edition of the AFCON. So we just three days to begin the campaign. That is the fun fact you need to have. Now, let's move on to the news. And Mohamed Kudus has money to join the Black Stars teammates ahead of the African Nations Cup uh, in Cote d'Ivoire. The team is expected to depart Kumasi today and get to Ivory Coast later this morning to begin their preparation. They are expected to train later this afternoon. Kudus was accompanied by West Ham United physiotherapist who is expected to help the Black Stars medical team keep the West Ham United midfielder very much fit throughout the tournament. Now, head coach of the national team, Chris Hutton, has been speaking more many have been questioning whether he is content with the squad he has. Well, he believes that these are the best available material to be selected for the next couple of weeks to play in the AFCO. What happens is, is that we, we have a squad. We have a squad that's picked of, uh, of 27 players. And um, it will be this 27 players that's, uh, that we hope will make the nation proud and we will have a good AFCO. As regards individuals, I think everybody would speak about some individuals that are not in the squad, that, uh, that perhaps should be in the squad. But that's always about opinion. Uh, I have the, the fortunate, I think it's fortunate, uh, job of, of picking squad. It's difficult, it's, it's very difficult. Um, and sometimes the circumstances why you can't pick somebody. All I can do is pick 27 players that, that, that I think can do best in, in an AFCON and we can be successful. So that is from Chris Hutton, the head coach of the senior national team. Well, Hutton has accepted responsibility to make his team play better in convert chances in the opponent's box and conceding less chances in his defence. We always prefer to talk about the team. You know, I think if we're, if we're conceding goals, then it's not just about um, a back four. Unless, unless there are particular errors, unless defenders are making errors that are, that are leading to goals. And generally, we would look at the team. If we're defending well, or, or if we're not defending well, it means we're not defending well as a team. Um, if we are, if we have a, a particular player, if a, a particular striker or a wide player that's missing lots of chances, then you know that's an individual thing. I don't think it, that's the case. I think we are um, not creating enough really good chances as a team and um so i think always the team has to take responsibility for that Always a team needs to take responsibility for that, according to Chris Hutton. Well, let's move on. Some more stories on the Africa Cup of Nations, where the Scorpions of Gambia have their players reportedly declining to attend their scheduled open training session at the Independence Stadium, citing unpaid bonuses as the reason. While coach Tom St. Fiat and his technical team were present at the stadium, the players reportedly chose to remain at the hotel, refusing to join the training session. So we'll be trying to follow up. This morning, giving you all the updates on 3FM 92.7 as well as 3 Sports GH across all the socials. We just stay glued to us. We we'll bring you a lot more from the Gambia on what is actually transpiring there. Well, we've had several other teams. Senegal have jetted off to Cote d'Ivoire. Morocco are already in there. And we expect a lot more countries, Mali and the likes, to also get to Cote d'Ivoire later today. Now let's drop to the Ghana Premier League where an outstanding game between Mediama SE and Great Olympics will be played today in Takwa. Assistant coach for the defending league champions, Nanaya Amankwa has promised that the club will turn around the poor run of results. Where we are and then the results that we've been getting these days is not helping and then the, it doesn't even speak well of the Mediama Sporting Club. But we're trying to make sure all uh, we're putting all the wounds in place and then also make sure we fix whatever errors we're encountering to bounce back stronger. Yeah, first of all, I think uh, uh, injury is a factor. Injury is a factor and then also uh, uh, I think fatigue is also in there because uh, because of the our African campaign, you know, uh, after finishing last season, the team never get enough rest. We're still on camp. From there, engaging to the African terrain. Uh, Moving down to the league itself, you know, uh, it, it, it's not easy. It has not been easy. So I think uh, injury is also a factor. 
Well, injury is also a factor, according to Nane Amaka, who is the assistant coach for Media Maesi. Now, let's move on to Heart of Lions, where experienced Gaffa Bashir Hayford has taken over the scene in the last three Ghana Premier League games. He's managed to win two. He only lost his first game and also being eliminated in the MTN FA Cup. While well, he's been speaking about the team's survival in the Ghana Premier League, he believes it's a matter of time and they are in no rush to achieve that long term goal. We, we, we are chasing our dreams, uh, just want to lift ourselves from down there, so the, the, the spirit of playing that one is different from playing, uh, 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 you know, every cup, you know, so I had to start all those who didn't play. Uh, we have played three matches, some of our boys have not played the league, you know, but we see where we are and our, our attention is on the league. You've gotten two wins so far. It's Lions getting away from the league. The getting away from the league is not too much. It is getting to the end of the league. So it is too early to say that. But we are making sure we fight to come out of where we are. Now. Bashir here for the hoping that his team money to fight back strongly. Now let's move on to the EFL Cup and in the semifinals, Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea was defeated one goal to nil by Michael Carris Middlesbrough. Well, it was a very difficult game where Chelsea pounced on uh, Borough to get to the equalizer, but the game had to end one nil in favor of Middlesbrough at home. We are expecting the second league to happen in two weeks' time. Mauricio Pochettino believes that his side have the capability to turn the tie around when they play at the Stamford Bridge. If you, you create more chances than the opponent and you have big chances and you don't score, it's difficult to... What we are going to say about talking about the performance, uh, I think we made some mistake and we were punished for that and they, they were capable to score. We concede and we cannot uh, uh, score and, and we were not clinical enough because we create uh, too many chances to score. It's, it's the, first, the first leg, it's 90 minutes, we have another 90 minutes, it's one nil down and we know that in the start of the we, we, should, uh, we should win if we want to win in the final but it's still 90 minutes to play. In terms of attitude, yes, in terms of uh, effort, yes, and then uh, we miss the quality on the last third to score because I think we create chances and we were not able to score. Well, chances were created, but they were not able to score, according to Mauricio Pochettino. Well, Michael Carrick, former Manchester United player, led Middlesbrough to a very good game, but he says they are staying level-headed after defeating Chelsea, hoping that the second leg will come very good for them. It was an incredible game and an unbelievable, outstanding performance from the players. And we give ourselves an opportunity, you know, it's it's all to play for. We know what we're walking into down there and, and, and what we face, so we know that. We're not celebrating like we, we're, we're through by any stretch. I think we can just, for where we are in the stage we are in the competition, for the squad, for the boys to sample tonight, they, they have to enjoy it, you know. it's, it's um, To beat Chelsea of a team of that calibre, with the circumstances we face with injuries and, and, and whatever, it's um, something the boys have to enjoy tonight and appreciate. And then when it comes around, of course, we'll be ready for the for the next game. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I, had, I had a word with the fourth official as well. I thought it was it was a potential penalty, but um, of course we could be greedy. But at the same point, you got real realistic. I think they've had opportunities that on another day they might score, and um, we knew we needed that. You know, that these games that's what they bring. You're never really going to keep them without having a shot at goal. They've got too much quality of that. So um, I suppose both teams could say they could add a little bit more from it. Uh, that's understandable. That's quite understandable, according to Michael Carrick, when they were denied a penalty yesterday. Now, there will be another EFL Cup semi-final match coming up later this evening. While well, it's a big clash between Liverpool and Fulham is the semi-finals of the EFL Cup. Now, uh, before we get into some other stories, Real Madrid are playing against Atletico Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. In the Coppa Italia, Lazio play against Roma and then AC Milan against Atalanta. So, these are the games... That will be coming up this evening. Well, some news for Liverpool fans and their right back Trent Alexander-Arnold has picked up a knee injury that will keep him out for weeks, according to manager Pep Linus, who said on Tuesday ahead of their EFL Cup, the 25-year-old England international has made 18 Premier League appearances for Liverpool this season, suffered the injury during Sunday's 2-0 FA Cup third round win at Arsenal. Trent Hyper extended his knee, so he has a little tear in the lateral ligament of his knee and he will need time. 
to recover according to Pep Linus. Hopefully three weeks with the winter break in between, he told reporters. Now to the Football Association and they have announced that Dominic calvert Lowen's red card has been overturned due to wrongful dismissal. calvert Lowen was shown a red card and the first of his career for uh, Everton during their goalless draw at Crystal Palace in the FA Cup third round. He was controversially dismissed following a challenge on Nathaniel Klein in the 76th minute of the game. Lowen received a three-match suspension, but this has now been dismissed following a successful appeal from Everton. The FA said in a statement, Dominic Calvin Lewin will be available for Everton's next three games following a successful claim of wrongful dismissal. Well, and finally, Tottenham Hotspur well have confirmed the signing of Timo Werner on loan from RB Leipzig. So that is also the latest with regards to that. There's some more transfer news going to come up in the next couple of weeks. Kylian Mbappe, Alfonso Davies, Arsenal, Manchester United, a whole lot as we wait to see how the clubs will revamp their squads. That will be all for sports this morning. My name is Kelvin Owusu. And so there will be more sports news on 3news.com as well as 3 Sports GH across all the social sunrise continues helena piampo for dj Biam is also here to serve you with some very good songs have a brilliant wednesday <laughs>